Welcome to the Curiosity in Cinema season hosted by The Cinema Cartography. I'm Lewis Michael Bond, and the second film in our selection is Bellatar's solemn and horrific tale of how to utterly corrupt the human spirit, Werkmeister Harmonies. Having only made nine films before his retirement from filmmaking, it was the latter half of his oeuvre in which Bellatar's films moved from his cinema verite tableaus of inner turmoil to the languid and apocalyptic style of filmmaking that's irrevocably his own. At 2 hours and 25 minutes, with only 39 shots, Werkmeister Harmonies is no exception to this approach, and utilises its intense, inert world as a kind of primordial stew. Many things bubble beneath the surface, and time has become a precious asset, but what these things are, and why they're there, don't quite seem to be explained. Yet this very drabness of time is something we never cease to feel, is something we are constantly made aware of and can't escape. Even without the knowledge of what or where we are, we can feel something is coming. The work of Bellatar is a serious brand of cinema. Influenced by the work of Nietzsche, there's an anaesthetizing effect at his often overbearing take on humanity. That ultimately, we're entropic beings, so prone to destruction, and so malleable are our systems in becoming brutalized. Werkmeister Harmonies is set in a Hungarian town, wherein a circus attraction has arrived and has only served to pique not only the town intrigue, but their disgust, their suspicion, and all gamut of the human emotion that comes when dealing with the unknown. Werkmeister Harmonies in its simplest form is precisely that, a film about society dealing with the things that we don't know how to. The tragedy being that our main character Velushka is an idealist, who manages to see the beauty in the bizarre and decaying attraction. But although the rest of the townspeople do not actually see the exhibit, their mind is already made up. The otherness of the circus does not belong, and all the toxic sentiments of humanity are justified as such. They have been invaded by something they do not understand, and now anything is permitted. Werkmeister Harmonies is many things, an allegory for man's great capacity for evil, it is also a sense of the ability for humanity to shine through. But what's most striking about Tar's work are how his worlds have always been the most integral piece of the whole. It was said that during pre-production for Werkmeister Harmonies, Tar spent over a year simply searching for the perfect town square for the setting. Werkmeister Harmonies shows that whatever gaps in our information we possess, our world will fill it in for us. And if our world is the hopeless, derelict landscape that's present here, then it is that that we will imitate. Here we're trapped in an endless cycle of people reflecting their surroundings and vice versa. The title for Werkmeister Harmonies becomes self-explained within the film itself. A monologue from an intellectual describes how German composer Andreas Werkmeister set forth principles that led to all philosophical problems in music theory and that in order for the humanities to move forward, there must be a foundational restructuring. The most prevalent theme that shapes the remainder of the film. Werkmeister Harmonies is a complex study about humanity's need for answers, and as we are drawn into the mystery of the circus, we mustn't forget that it's our curious need that is what allows us to accomplish great things, but to force that same inquisition into unheeded falsities is what has often caused even the most noble of societies to collapse. It's a slow and often painful feat to watch any Bellatar film. But don't worry, because everything you need to know about the film is told in the opening sequence, which is undoubtedly one of the most magnificent opening scenes in all of cinema. This is Werkmeister Harmonies. <laughs> 